I'm Tobias Klein. I was born in Germany. Uh, I lived for a long time in the UK, in London, and I now live in Hong Kong. I was hoping to extend a form of dialogue between my practice and the craftsmanship of glass. My body of work consists mostly out of 3D scanning and 3D printing. I decided to start very primordials, like with cells, singular bubbles, the evolution of bubbles, one bubble getting into two bubbles, almost mimicking the behavior of cells. So most of the works then have to do as well with the idea of balancing. And for that purpose, we're introducing these small elements here, which are like spike-like on the skin of the cell. And these I will use for 3D scanning. So in the end, we will actually 3D scan these elements in place. And once we have a digital copy of the two, I will then attempt to do 3D printing in the connection of follicles that are next to this. So these elements then will be connected and help the balancing of the two glass elements. So you could really think that the 3D print is almost like an encrustation, like, uh, like shells growing on the, on the hull of a boat or so. I would like the glass to have the purest forms readable in all three dimensions. So the moment you add opacity to it and uh, colors, you are creating a yeah, two and a half dimensional 3D form. But with being transparent through all sides, you're creating almost a four dimensional form where you see the various sides at the same time. We develop ideas in conversation and methods to get there and attempts to stretch the material, attempts to um, not work against glass, but find ways to work with the glass to achieve some of the forms I am, I am trying to, um, to unpack. The experience has been incredibly rewarding and, and quite thrilling, sometimes actually very exciting when things are working and sometimes when things are not working. That is as well part of the conversation, part of the, the craft. In my short experience in glass, I have never worked with a team that is so professional and so versatile, skilled in, in working with the glass. As well, amongst the team members themselves, there's a really interesting dynamic and almost non-verbal communication necessary to achieve these parts. Yeah.